You know, you can actually change the direction of your life. Life is not designed where you just wake up and see how it go and you react. You have a determining voice into where your life can go. Understanding self-worth is the beginning of progress. If one of us can do it, all of us can do it. I can read, you can read. I can understand, you can understand. The few simple things I did and tried revolutionized my life in five years. There isn't anybody here that can't do it. Change from nothing to something. Change from broke to rich. If any of us can do it, we all can do it. That's the kind of value you should place on yourself. If he can change, I can change. If he can get it done, I can get it done. That's the attitude about yourself. You're supposed to evolve, not be the same way. Life is a fight for territory. And once you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. You have no idea of what you can do, of what you can accomplish. Eye has not seen. Ear has not heard, nor has entered the heart of mankind what God has in store for you. You got to be willing to go all in for you. I just got tired of somebody telling me what time to be there, how much I'm worth. Now, in transforming our lives, we don't start with attitude. We don't start with the inspiration here. We start with education. Life change does not start with inspiration. Life change starts with education. My teacher put it in blunt, simple language. He only went to the ninth grade in school, so. He said, Mr. Owen, after six years living in America, pennies in your pocket, nothing in the bank. Cho said, I just got one simple explanation for that. You've messed up. Don't need some teacher to come by and tell you. Be your own best teacher saying, hey, let me make a list of some places I've messed up. Activity. Taking action. And the activity is the miracle working piece. It's miracles work. God says, if you'll plant the seed, I'll make the tree. Number one, gives God the tough end of the deal. God says, I got the miracle going, I got the seasons going, and I'm God. But the way I've arranged it, I just need somebody to plant the seed. If you're willing to take these two qualities, philosophy, and attitude and invest it into activity, you can have a miracle. The only thing that performs a miracle of increase called equity is called putting wisdom and attitude into discipline, into labor. Let me give you the best of ancient script. Here's what it says. Whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might and do it with all your power. What a good philosophy. If you're not willing to work, nothing works. You could be given the best opportunity in the world. And if you're not willing to work, nothing works. I remember I, I went to see a friend of mine and he had this big, beautiful home. His brother asked him, he said, man, he said, how did you get something like this? And the older brother said, by a lot of hard work. And the younger brother said, I'm not willing to do that. And see, a lot of people don't want to do what they have to do. You know what they don't want to do? They don't want to work, so they prefer to suffer. I'm not willing to do that. Wherever you find yourself, there that's where you made a decision to be. Based upon how much work are you willing to put in, one of the things that you don't want to do is become comfortable with where you are when you know in your heart of hearts you can have more and, you, and there's a life for you beyond survival. We're here to work, commit thy works. This is no place to stand still. This is a, an incredible opening here. During the challenging times in your life, if you keep it moving, you'll get out faster. There are new levels in front of us, but much of it depends on how bad we want it. God is not going to do everything for us. We have to do our part. You can pray, God, help me to feel better. I don't have any energy. God, I'm always so tired. Are you eating right? Are you getting enough sleep? 
Are you living stressed and worried? If you'll roll away the stone, then God will do what you're asking. Do you want to get well bad enough to not drink 43 colas a day and sleep three hours a night? When he sees you doing all you can, then he'll make things happen that you can't. You have seeds of greatness. You're destined to leave your mark. You were created to stand out in the crowd, to be a cut above. Now do your part and distinguish yourself. Yes, it takes discipline. Yes, you have to say no to carnal desires, but the pain of discipline is less than the pain of regret. It's hard to break away from a friend that's pulling you down, but that pain is less than not reaching your dreams. You don't have to wonder. You can start right now. It is not too late to become who God's created you to be. The question is, do you want it bad enough? Make this decision. I am not going to live complacent, passive. I'm going to pursue what God put in my heart. I'm going to come up higher in my relationships. How bad do you want it? The difference between a dream and a wish is a wish is something you just hope it happens, but a dream you put actions behind. Wishing isn't going to get you anywhere. The people that succeed, don't always have the most talent, the most opportunity. Many times they simply want it more than others. Being passive and indifferent will keep you from your destiny. Here's the principle. If you're not hungering after anything, you're not going to be filled. You can teach people to have faith. You can encourage them to believe, but you can't make people be hungry. Do you want it bad enough? Have you let people talk you out of it, steal your passion, cause you to settle? You may have had some setbacks, but you have to be relentless when it comes to what God put in your heart. And sometimes we talk ourselves out of it. It's too hard. Can't write that many letters. I don't have a computer. It's amazing what we'll do when we want something bad enough. Quit telling yourself it's too hard. It's too early. You can do what you want to do. Don't miss your destiny because you didn't want it bad enough. It's worth being uncomfortable for a season to get up early, to try it again, to do what others aren't willing to do. You can break that addiction if you really want to. You can forgive that person that hurts you. You can accomplish your dream if you want to bad enough. Your will is one of the most powerful things you have. It's not just willpower, it's the blessing of God helping you. But it kicks in when God sees you doing all you can do. But I wonder if you've convinced yourself you can't do something that you really can do. It may not be easy, but your destiny is calling. Don't let people talk you out of it. Don't let circumstances convince you that you can't. There are great relationships, healing, abundance. My question is how bad do you want it? When you focus on the possibilities, on working on finding a solution, keep the faith even as things are going on right now with all the divisiveness, with all the lies, keep the faith. Oh, keep the faith. You were born to do great things.
this right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Sky on your mind. 